Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you one more assertion, which is HTML assertion. So with the help of the HTML assertion, we can validate response HTML page, which we are getting against our request is following all HTML rules and not having any error or the warning. Means when I'm sending a request for the HTML page, we are getting response and again the response is in the form of HTML. So I want to validate that is not having any error or warning means it is following all the HTML rules and not having any error or warning. I'm just moving to the JMeter and here we have a assertion with the name HTML assertion. Here, what is the format of your response? So it could be XML, it could be HTML or it could be XHTML. What do you want to validate? So I want to validate errors and warning. So okay, as of now I'm not making any changes. I'm just running my test case with three users only and clearing previous results. Now I'm going to execute. So you will notice on all places we are getting error. And if you see in scenario page, we are getting three HTML error, three errors and 47 warnings. If we check it here, register page, we are getting three error, again 94 warnings. And here if we check it on the home page, here we have three errors, 100 warnings. So we have a lot of issues in that HTML, which we are getting from the server. Means that not following all HTML rules. Okay. I'm just clearing previous result and going to the HTML assertion again. Sometimes you want to ignore some percentage of error. If we are getting error up to five, just ignore it. So I'm saying, okay, ign error threshold means up to five errors. If you are getting up to five errors, just ignore it. Show it as a pass. And same way I'm saying up to 80 warnings, just ignore it and show it as a pass. So now I'm going here, clearing screen, running it. So now few pages starting to get passed because they have less than five errors and less than 80 warnings. So that is passed, but few are still getting failed. Why? So error is three allowed is five. So that is okay. But warning we said allowed 80, but we are getting 90. So that's why it's getting failed. If we go to the HTML assertion again and we make the changes like 100, now I'm clearing and running it again. So again, we started to, now I started to get all the pages, all the requests are passed because all the requests are having error less than five and warning less than 100. So here we have seen how we can go for error threshold or warning threshold means if you are getting that much of error or warning, just ignore it, set it as a pass. Now, as of now, we are validating error and warning both. Okay, if I check it like this, I'm saying 20. So again, I'm going to get failures because all are failing just because allowed warnings are 20 and uh, we have 47 warnings in this page. In the same way on the register page, allowed is 20 having 94. On home page, allowed is 20 having 100. So all the pages, are, all the requests are getting failed just because of this HTML assertion. Now, I don't want to validate warnings. I just want to validate error. In that kind of scenario, we can go and we can check this. So now we are not validating warning. We are just validating error. And you have already seen that in all the pages, we have around three errors and we have given threshold five. So it will started to get passed because now all the requests are having error less than five. And if I make it like I'm coming here and make it to threshold. So it is not validating warning this time. Now I'm setting threshold two. Now let me check. So now we are not validating warning. We are just validating error and only admin page is getting passed, which is having less than two errors. Rest of the pages are having more than two errors. So it's getting failed. If you want to check it, you can check it here. Allowed is two, but we are having three errors. So here we have seen what is the use of the HTML assertion and with the help of the HTML assertion, we can validate the response HTML page is following all HTML rules or not. 
and also we are checking it is not having any error warning but we ha also have the option of threshold with the help of which we can ignore some errors and warnings that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video